guys welcome back for another episode of game of empires all right so we made it to the iron age all right just pretty much bypassed the bronze age now i think what i need to start doing and this is probably my recommendation is i probably need to slow down just a little bit we'll talk about that but hey before we get into that make sure you guys drop a like on this video please and thank you and don't forget to subscribe and make sure that notification bell my friends is turned on all right, so the reason why I would say that you might want to slow down your age because what happens is you'll be behind on your researches, all right? Now, that's just a theory of mine. I don't know for sure, but I'm beginning to think that's what is going to happen. Um, judging other games, that's how they do theirs. All right, so let's see. Scholars Academy will collect intel within a kingdom and release corresponding quests regularly. Complete them to get abundant rewards. All right, so I guess we can go in here and do certain things let's see shortage of supplies they want me to deploy some troops here oh we got someone on standby good all right as long as we have people on standby we're not gonna be missing out because i want to make sure i get as many resources as i possibly can now i went ahead and joined an alliance don't know if they're active or not or anything like that I've only been with them for a few hours so we'll see if these guys are active or not i'm sure they will be but that's what i would recommend guys make sure you get your research done it's a lot i know because if you just go in, and I think it's a VIP 6, you get the second queue. So if you can get that one done, VIP 6, just make sure you can either get that, or you can unlock for one day, which I'm going to save that for now. Um, it's not that serious. So I want to make sure I can get that one in due time. So right now we're upgrading our food wagon to level 1. <clears throat> but you know what, though? I might need to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and upgrade or unlock our next one for a day. Because we do need to get some resources done. Like, we need a lot of resources done. Let's see. Great helper. All right. That's going to help our help received limit. It's going to go up five. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to be about three hours, 47 minutes, and some change. We knocked off a couple minutes there. So that shouldn't be too bad. But just wanted to give you guys a quick update. And I hate when you slide these guys on the side here. And then they move away. I hate that. That part I don't like. <laughs> All right, so let me see. We got a couple of these guys that are pretty much idle on standby. So we can probably make him build something or farm something, more than likely. Let's go ahead and make him go do some... Let's go make him go do some bushes. Make him collect. Now you can do as many as you would like. I'm going to go ahead and get whoever's idle. Let them go in there and collect all that food that they can collect. All right, so you want to make sure these guys stay as busy as possible to collect food, wood, or whatever resource that you can collect. Like stone, we haven't had stone unlocked yet. We have to wait to the feudal age, which I think that might be the next era. All right. Um, yeah, early feudal age. And then we have the high feudal age, late feudal age. Okay, so castle age. We got a lot of ages in this game. Wow. So I wonder if you can actually... Oh, they don't have anything unlocked there. Imperial. Okay. I thought maybe you can go through the different ages, like, you know, modern day and things like that. That would be kind of cool. But this game is pretty much laid back. Like I said before in another video, it's almost like Age of Empires 4. But a little bit more interactive. Because this, this is a phone game. Because people are going to be probably asking anyway in the comments, Oh, is this a phone game? Yep. It's a phone game. All right. So we got to kill barbarians. Let's go ahead and knock that out too. Let's go ahead and attack these guys, these gays. All right, so we don't have, we can unlock, let me see. Deputy, your chief reaches 20. We can unlock another spot here for a hero. Um, but right now we have two heroes. We got, looks like, what's his name? Man, like Genghis Khan or something like that. Or we use Mulan looking, yeah, Mulan and Genghis Khan. All right, so we're going to go ahead and attack those guys. I thought we were. Let's deploy. Looks like they don't want to go. Oh, so we got to defeat a level four barbarian first. So, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and knock out the level four barbarian. So we can go in order here. And we can be on track to getting things done. So, Temujin and Mulan. I don't know who's the strongest one out of the two, but she is higher level. So we're gonna go with her. So we should have like certain buffs by having her out into that attack. Um, also, we can do our scouts. So, 
return auto explore um yeah we'll probably say go ahead and do some exploring if you can uncover the map now one good thing about this once you guys join an alliance you will be um you will be able to go straight to your your alliance territory you don't have to worry about I, mean, I could be wrong, but I know mine did it automatically. So that was kind of cool. Automatically, you just go. But this guy's doing his explorations pretty much in our territory. Now, as far as wars go, I'm not sure if that's going to happen or if that's a thing. I'm sure it is. Um, that'd be kind of great if that's the case. Uh, no complaints there. All right. And that's all we got going on there. And what else do we have? Secondary... Q is going for 23 more hours, 56 minutes, one second. All right, so we got a victory there on our attack. So there's a lot of stuff going on, guys. It's not really anything different about this game compared to other war games, but this one is a little bit more slower, laid back, which is really good. Don't get it twisted. Um, I actually really do enjoy this game for the most part. All right, so we got recharge bonuses. Let's see, first recharge bonus, legendary commander, Caesar. So I guess we get him for 99 cents? Caesar? What? Okay, so we can break down the commanders too. Okay, this is cool. Got Caesar. We got Tenma. The people are going to probably say, oh, it's like Rise of Kingdoms. No, it's not. We got Charlemagne, Joan of Arc, Frederick. Good artwork. Good artwork, guys. Good artwork. Hannibal, Zoom Leong, Edward, Cleopatra. Nice. Ivan, which we I thought we had that already. Um, Vlad Dracula, Belisarius, Bybars, Timor, Yi Soon Sin, Kendimoka. No, I can't say that one. I'm sorry. Um, Praetorian and Prefect and Hussar Elite. So those are all the little heroes we can get. And I have mine sorted by might, not I guess you can do by rarity. So we only have two right now. Legendary. So I think this might be a pretty decent deal. If this game is pretty good as far as like kicking off, then yeah, I would definitely more than likely get this for my first recharge bonus for 99 cents. Doesn't seem like a bad deal right there. If you guys think anything different, let me know in the comments below. Definitely want to hear from you guys. All right, so looks like we got another chapter completed here. <clears throat> so we'll get this one going here, and then we'll move on to the next chapter. So that's fantastic. All right, so it looks like we need to do clear novice stage two, and then we'll start unlocking other quests. But right now, that's pretty much, that's it. All right, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.